What's up guys, in today's video, it will be the unboxing of my brand new coffee machine that I got in partnership with Edzica Espresso. I've got it since about a month now, and to be honest, I'm so hooked on coffee. I've been making it my own every single day. I've been playing around with it. But all of this knowledge and thing that I learned about the coffee machine will be for a future video. This one will just be the unboxing that happened about a month ago. So yeah, keep watching this video if you want to learn more about this coffee machine and also about all its parameters and how to make the best tasting coffee out there. Thanks to In It's Cup Coffee Expert that came here to our house to explain me on how this coffee machine works. All right, let's go. Hey everyone, I am with Hin from Edzika and she has a special delivery for us today. Hello Hin. Hello. So what are we gonna see today? So today we're gonna get to play with your new Mava X, the William 2 grinder and very great coffee from uh, Touche. On the YouTube comments from our last video, a lot of people said having a good grinder is probably the most important part. So why don't we start with unboxing the grinder, the William PL72 if I'm not correct? Exactly, yeah. The grinder is the most important because it doesn't give you a great coffee if you have a very powerful, very precise machine and the grind is off. The grinder has to give you a very fine, very controllable grind and very homogeneous. We don't want too much uh, fines and small particles and we don't want a uh, big difference between the, uh, the biggest uh, builders and the smallest fines. <laughs> it's looking so nice. <laughs> yeah, you get a little uh, notice here. All the grinders are uh, tested once they're all assembled to make sure they're working perfectly. And the little roulette here will allow you to uh, change the grind fineness. And then the electronic uh, control, the LCC, it's room. <laughs> and then here in the program, you have one dose and the second dose, and they're okay. independent. And then you can change them by going inside, pressing plus ones. And once it's flashing, you can subtract or add one tenth of a second of grind. And now, Let's, uh, let's get to the big box. Yeah, we'll start with the uh, first box, is the accessory box. The tray. So you get the new water filter from Lilith, which is just leveling like this, with the shoot for the espresso. A blind filter for the back flush, for the cleaning. The temper, the 58.55. Uh, I get a little spoon if you're using uh, another uh, pre-ground coffee, like a decaf, let's say. Mm -hmm. The water softener. A cleaner also for the milk spout. Nope. <laughs> Ta -da. Wow. So shiny. <laughs> the water sink. It's really nice and easy, very accessible. Okay. And how long is the, the water can stay in the tank? The fresher the water, the tastier the coffee okay. as well. And just for the hygiene, usually you leave it maybe for two, three days. The cat is watching me. <laughs> Underneath the, uh, the battery, you get also another one to put on top of the machine. And what does this do? Cups, just to keep your cups warm. And voila. So now everything's ready. And I will let you push on. So I can right. start it on yes. for the first time. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> so now the machine is gonna autofill. It's gonna take uh, around four minutes. I leave some room. Maybe if you wanna switch next. Hello. Are we doing everything right? <laughs> so now we can stop. So now with the machine, the boiler is full of water. The 61 is for the water. Kay. Now the machine is telling me I have the water I need and it's starting to heat up. Okay. Uh, e 61 uh, heat exchanger is really at least like for 30, 25 to 30 minutes to bring up all the um, parts to really be at the right temperature. And usually when I turn on the machine uh, in the morning during the day to make my copies, I secure the party filter on the group to make sure it comes to the right temperature as well. So now the machine uh, starts flashing, so it means everything is nice and the, at the right temperature. So now we can start uh, by checking the grind, the fineness, and finding the optimal grind for the beans we're using. So we take the pot filter that was warmed. It's very important that the pot filter is hot also. If you forgot to secure it on the machine when it was warming up in the morning, just turn some hot water through it to bring it to the right temperature. This is important, otherwise, if the water filter is not uh, hot enough, it will steal the warmth from us when we're using the first coffee 
and then we don't want uh, the taste to be um, changed. Got it. So now we're gonna try the double espresso. Uh, the first grind, you put any beans you want. The yep. first grind is to check the fineness in, in the manometer here. Will tell us if we need to find the grind finer or coarse. Just asking for a little bit more coffee. So the first time when you're uh, setting up the William grinder, you have to find the right grind for the coffee beans you're using. That's the fineness. That's easy because we're gonna read the manometer and we know. And you also have to set the quantity of grind. So that sometimes uh, it's difficult because you have like, two things to set. Check always, distribute with your hand or with the tool. The scale makes it easier uh, to check the quantity of grind. So you take your portafilter, filter, we do a tear. Now it's at zero. And yep. now I can check how uh, many grams it's given me on the double espresso. Kay. And I know if I need to ask it to grind for a longer period or shorter period. And how many grams are we looking for usually? <laughs> Usually for the double espresso, for the double filter, you're looking for 14 to 18 grams. Mm. Now we need just 16 grams, it's fine. It's between 14 and 18, depending on the uh, beans. Perfect. So now we distribute it to make sure we have the right density everywhere. For the uh, tassa, I like to le level like this to make sure it's level everywhere. And then just press very hard, just once. Just once. Don't tap it on the sides or use it like this because sometimes the coffee is already ground really fine. Mm -hmm. It's really compact and if you give it like a little shakes like this, it will create a crack. Got and it. It will make the water run through that crack instead of going through all the little uh, fine grounds. Nice. Et voilà. Now we're gonna test our grind. I'm gonna start the shot and we're gonna look through the manometer here. If it stabilizes around 8-9 bars, it will mean we ground enough, uh, fine enough for this bean we're using. If it stays much lower here, it will mean that we need to grind finer Kay. to make more resistance. So we need to aim for 8 bar. 8-9 bars okay. is the um, pressure where the coffee is the most soluble. It okay. will give you more taste. First shot is the test. Okay. So the pressure is building up at the group. You see it's going higher a little bit mm -hmm. and it's coming out just uh, drop by drop. That means the grind is a little too fine. Too fine. Yes, a so too fine. So the higher the number is, the finer it is. Yes, so we just get the grind just a little bit coarser. Yes, coarser. sorry, less fine. And when you make the grinder less fine, the shoot of coffee will open up and mm -hmm. it will give you more coffee. So usually right away you go inside and you ask for a little less. Less quantity. Yes, because so, otherwise it's gonna uh, give you too much coffee. Okay, so we still aim for... Test, test it and then we check. Okay. Usually uh, to test a new grinder, a new bean, maybe we can make three coffees. Okay. The first is just to read where we're at. The second one is to go closer to the other target. Mm -hmm. And maybe a third one just to make it better. Awesome. Yeah. See, when the coffee is ground a little too fine, uh, the crema is uh, burnt a little bit and it's more watery. Mm -hmm. It will taste really strong, but maybe not the, the tastiest, not the more balanced. Okay. It does smell strong. Yeah. <laughs> I have 19 grams, so I'm gonna ask for a little less. So distribute again. Yep. Yeah, also if you're using the leveler, yeah. Uh, it will make the surface flat and you cannot uh, press wrong, so it's really nice to use it too. So you flush the water just a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just to clean uh, from, the last, um, mm -hmm. from the last coffee. So now we'll see the pressure. Yeah. So see if we need to change it a, third, a second time or not. Mm -hmm. See the water came out, the coffee came out a little earlier and more even on both sides. And like I said before, this uh, blend is very high altitude. So even at higher uh, pressure, we're around 10 bars, it still comes out really creamy. Okay. The higher altitude means the fibers are really dense and they can withstand uh, hotter and finer uh, temperature and have finer grind. 
and then make you taste it and you see if you need to make it a little coarser or not. See now we have a little thicker crema than before. Yes. Of course the cup is really large but just to... Yeah, if you want a latte, now the machine allows you to make your coffee and froth your milk at the same time. Yeah. One after the other. So the pressure is always ready. So we can froth some milk together. Awesome. <laughs> All right, now, so guys, my, it's my turn to do my own coffee. Again, you're gonna supervise me, make sure I do everything correctly. Sure. Try to do a latte, just like we did. Add some beans, two more. All okay, the air out, out, right away, okay. yeah. And then you go. It keeps the freshest the longest. Perfect. Awesome. Clean this. Yeah. It's already clean, should I? Yeah, if you wipe it dry, it will give you all the time you need to make sure you have the right quantity and everything. Okay. Because if it's already wet like that, which is normal, but if you, you don't work uh, fast enough, the coffee will open up and will go uh, through too fast. Got it. So. Yeah. so you wouldn't know if the air comes from the grind or from the that water. So two, two hit here? Yeah. One, twice. And then three. And voila. Then you, can oh, you did that. Then you push all the that's coffee. Hot. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. So just... Uh, yeah. Spread it. Um, try not to press, just push the coffee Got in. It. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and level. Et voilà, and then you press really hard. Super. Uh, next step is get the porta filled here. Yeah. Then you bring it to the right side. Et voilà. And make your coffee. So I just bring it up? Yeah, completely on top. More up? Yeah. And when you have like about like one third, you can stop it. I manually stop it? Yeah, this machine has a really like mechanical lever. Okay. So you turn it on and you stop it. It's good. Wow, pretty good. This is super exciting. I am so happy to be starting uh, my coffee journey with this machine. I'm sure it'll be amazing. It'll be a lot of trials and errors. Now, uh, where do people can find these machines? Uh, you can find them also, uh, at our um, shop in Montreal in Berlin and Sik on yep. uh, Salon Street. We have the website edicap.com. We have all the resellers also on the website listed if you want to buy uh, next to you. We have everybody in Canada. That's awesome. If you guys missed the video where I visit the showroom of Etika, uh, check it out. It will be uh, in the description. And did us a, a big tour of all the Lilith machine. Uh, super ex excited for this. The grinder looks awesome. And uh, thank you so much. And <laughs> Enjoy and let me know if you have any questions. Will do. <laughs>